Hey guys, Dame here, and today I've got another Black Ops 2 tutorial for you. And today we're gonna get the Hell's Redeemer. Hell's Redeemer. The Hell's Redeemer is an upgrade of the Hell's Retriever. Um, it's not so much difficult to get, but it's definitely a must for a high rank. It is. This game was built with three new weapons or three new game or three new sort of builds. Even if you've got you've got the Blundergat. Um, the acid attachment and pack a punch. You've got the Hell's Redeemer, also the Retriever, which are sort of the same thing. And then you've got the um, you've got the shield. Um, you know, and this game was designed to use those three things to uh, to get high rank. And believe me, it is such a different game with those three things. It is such a different game. Anyway, today I'm going to tell you how to get the Redeemer, or or even how to upgrade your Retriever into the Redeemer. So here we go. So first things first, you need the Hell's Retriever. Um, I'll put a link in the description below so you can so you can, you can find how to get it. I, I'm pretty sure you might know how to get it yet. All the pros, well, we're all pros, so we all know anyway. Anyway, so you need the Hell's Retriever, um, and you need to get to the island. So you know, you sort of round ten to fourteen. You're looking at so you want to get over there as quick as you can, really. Now, when you're on the island, you need you need to kill thirty zombies. Apparently. 30 zombies. Now I've done 30 exactly. I've actually always done more. But you need to kill 30 zombies or more with your Hell's Retriever without using your gun. Now you also need to finish the round. You need to finish it. I don't know if you've got to wait for the numbers to change before you can jump on the chair like from 16 to 17 or 14 to 13. I'm not 100% sure but you need to kill 30 zombies and finish the round. So if you only kill 15 and leave, I don't think that's going to work. You need to kill 30 and finish the round. So, that's step one. Step two is the easy part. Well, I say it's easy. I thought it was easy. Now listen. You need to throw your Hell's Retriever into the lava pit, which is underneath the first dog where you would get the Hell's Retriever. The first dog, to me, would be where you spawn. So, just up on the stairs um, would be where, where, where you want to throw your axe. Um, it should take your axe and you won't get it back. Um, your little axe icon, your retriever icon, it's not an axe. Your tomahawk icon, um, it will stop flashing. Well, it won't stop flashing. It'll flash, but it won't glow anymore. Now, I thought this was it. So what I done was ran to where the retriever was and it was still red. And I could never understand. I even, I even listened, ran around the whole map again, collected all the petrol or the gas to, uh, to go to the island to do another 30 zombies. Anyway. I found out you need to complete a round after you've thrown the axe. So after you've thrown the axe into the lava, you need to complete another whole round. After you complete that round, you're ready for step three. Now, step three is probably the most simplest. Um, in the washing machine room, uh, if you go downstairs, you can get yourself into afterlife. Uh, if you go to where the Hell's Retriever is, you'll notice that it's blue. And you'll be able to pick it up in afterlife. Now you can only pick it up in afterlife. Um, if you're not in afterlife, all you'll see is a blue streak. Um, as for the other players, I'm pretty sure all they can collect is the original tomahawk. So with that, you collect your tomahawk, you jump back into your body, and you have the blue, you have the blue's Hell's Redeemer. And there you go. Now I've tested the Hell's Redeemer, and I've also found out some pointers. Apparently, it's still one. One hit kill up to 71 plus rounds, this is obviously. Um, I've used it and I've counted on round 36, you can charge your weapon, throw the charged weapon and it will kill six zombies in one hit. And that's at level 36, it's so powerful. Um, again, there are a few things I forgot to mention. Um, you can obviously charge out three times, whereas the Hell's Retriever, you could only charge out twice. So I think the three times gives you a bit more power and a bit more distance and it seems to stay out for longer and kill more zombies so it's absolutely brilliant. Now apparently only one person can get the Hell's Redeemer. Now I don't know if I can believe this. Now, the first match I tried getting the Hell's Redeemer somebody else got that Redeemer before me and this is the same match you're looking at. They got it before me. You can actually see him in the part of the video where he drops himself at the same time. After asking him he was able to pick up the Redeemer, and so was I. So technically, there was two of us with the Hell's Redeemer. So, you know, 
Can four of us get it? Can, you know, three get it? I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. If you do know, please leave a comment in the comment box below and let me know. Because it's hard to find so many people that, you know, want to get on it and do the acts at the same time. Um, so, yeah, I'd, I'd really like to know that for a fact. But, um, well, there you go. So, there you are. Thank you for watching another uh, episode for slash tutorial hashtag video. <laughs> um, from me, I'm Dane. This is Damon at Game. Please, if you've got any comments, put them in the comment box below. I really appreciate it if you could like the video. Thank you so much if you've watched this. Um, can't wait to speak to you all soon. Peace.